If we were going to be without mistake, we would need Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is the teacher. So the teacher teaches you because you don't know what you're doing, <laughs> right? And so the only way you're going to learn is if you fail your way to that success. But you have to be committed to the process and committed to the journey. And sometimes that's the hardest thing to do, whether it's in business, whether it's in relationships, whether it's in the Word of God, whether it's in a relationship with Christ. Sometimes the hardest thing for us to do is stay committed. And stay committed through the difficulties. Stay committed when it don't feel good. Stay committed when it ain't all exciting. You got to just be committed through all of the different seasons of life. When God calls you to something, you got to be committed through all of the seasons. And unfortunately, some people get uncommitted because they have a season of winter season. Where everything just seems all dry and bad. And nobody's there. And then they get all excited when summer season comes. And it's like it's all life. But you got to stay committed when it's fall time. When everything is falling apart. <laughs> You got to stay committed in the wintertime when it seems like nothing is there. And just as well as you got to stay committed when you see the springtime of your life and you see things that are starting to spring forward and then all of a sudden you get excited because you get to see something. And then summer, everybody want to be excited. Everybody want to be in when they start to see what's really happening. But you got to be committed through all the seasons because there is such a great lesson and such a great teaching that God teaches us. In every last one of those seasons, he says, speak my word in season and out of season. God don't allow us to do anything by accident. It's the reason why he said, speak my word in season and out of season, because he's going to teach you in all of those seasons. He's going to perfect those things in you that concerns him into the coming of Jesus Christ. And that's whatever you're doing. You got to be able to do it as though you're doing it unto the Lord. And you got to be able to ask God to get you through every season. Trigger Preacher, also known as God's Girls. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video everywhere. God's Girls all over the world.